All right, so today is the day. Time to uh, head to the rental store, hardware store, and pick up the aerator. All right, back from the rental store. We got the old, uh, the old Bluebird lawn aerator, so we get this in the backyard. We'll start working back there. I mean, that's why I love minivans. I can haul people and sh. There we go. First time I aerated my backyard. Aeration. Yeah. Uh, so looking at the video here, it took 20 minutes, less than 20 minutes. A couple areas I went over a couple times. Right in here we get a lot of compaction because we're going in and out of the pool. So now I'll go get the front done. And then I gotta work on some leveling out that dirt back there. I didn't do any aerating over seeding last year. Um, so that's why I wanted to do it this year. Because I got this heavy clay soil and it gets pretty compacted in certain areas. I did water it yesterday. I uh, <clears throat> threw down some Pro-Peat and some Milorganite. I'll put a link to that video up here. I'm sure that'll be out before this one. It's smelling pretty ripe out here with that malorganite. Whew. Well, let's poke some holes. That's what she said. What do they call those? Aerator stripes? All right, so that did a pretty good job. 
it ripped up uh, ripped up this new area pretty good. It's all right. I'm gonna be throwing I'll be throwing some more seed down in this area anyway. So you got a good inch and a half, two inch plugs. Be good. Ripped up this area too, but like I said, I'm gonna overseed anyway, so this is gonna be perfect. At least overseed in this spot and kind of in this area. It's a little bit thin. Otherwise, well, that wasn't too bad. It's a good workout for the morning. All right, so this section that I'm renovating here in the backyard, um, I'm gonna let these cores dry out a little bit. I'm gonna come back through with my electric dethatcher and rip this up some more. After that, we'll do one more spray of glyphosate. And then we're ready for seed. This area doesn't need to be perfect. I just kind of want to give a good Get a good uh, level here. Not level, just you know, feather it, feather the edges. Um, you know, there's still some roots and things back here. It's not perfect, but just kind of want to you know make it flow a little bit better. Like I said, not perfect, but good enough for the girls I go with. All right, so I'm just gonna take uh, take the stuff back to the uh, hardware store uh, before they close. And then we'll come back home and we'll uh, break up uh, those plugs in the back. Do some more dethatching and just break the heck out of it. All right, we got, uh, I got the aerator returned. Took the rake back as well. Got the kids some lunch. Plugs are looking dried out. I'm gonna beat this up some more with the uh, dethatcher, so let's do that. All right, so uh, I'm pleasantly surprised with that idea, using the uh, dethatcher to kind of break up those cores. I mean, it's almost like a top dress now. So we're gonna get lots of uh, seed to soil contact. It's gonna be great back here. It's also time to take the pool down. I told the kids, leave it up to Labor Day. After that, it's coming down. So we're gonna drain the water from the pool. We're gonna use that as our rain for this project. Make sure to subscribe for those updates.